what you're looking at is the infinite market cap in all the markets, including cryptocurrencies, ETFs, stocks, and assets. Currently, I'm looking at the top 100 ranked market cap industries, including gold being number one. You got Saudi Aramco is at number two. Let's look at a few of them. Apple at number three. Microsoft in fourth place. Amazon in fifth. Silver used to be in number six. Silver has slid down to number seven with 1.378 trillion. Bitcoin's at number eight, Facebook number 10, and Tesla's down at number 13. This is Rapid Updates, doing the silver, gold, and cryptocurrency updates today. Welcome to this channel. Taking a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is back up over 50,000 per Bitcoin. It did drop below for a few days. Ethereum's back up to 1732. A lot of institutions and banks are having this craze about cryptocurrencies and a lot of companies including tesla and you hear mark cuban talking about it about bitcoin and just where cryptocurrency is going and being decentralized people are attracted to that and they want to get out of the, the falling dollar that's devaluing over the years and get into something that's buying up assets that are actually increasing in value speaking of increasing in value brent crude oil is at 68 dollars it was up earlier today if we look at the one hour up near 72 dollars we'll see where it ends here later today but oil is at an all-time high as well so you got this seesaw effect happening with oil being so high we got bitcoin very bullish and but silver and gold are trending downwards let's take a look at this 24-hour spot gold chart the green is what today's date is and we're down here gold is sitting right around just under 1685 i mean it's just falling but then yesterday here's the blue line that's where it closed excuse me the red is sunday and then on friday was this blue line so the last 24 hours plus silver gold's friend is going to follow wherever gold goes in this case it is also down i mean we've hit the 25 dollar mark per ounce of silver and obviously it's being suppressed and the actual price in my opinion is around the $30 $33 range so it's not just looking at spot at 2519 it's with the premiums that are on top of it and right now you, you can't get silver at least it's three weeks out before you can get physical silver or it's just undetermined by your silver dealer and i believe the price is around 34 35 dollars per ounce we got high bond yields of the 10-year bonds just broke 1.5 the us dollar is strengthening 92.35 so these are are all it reflections from the stimulus package being passed through senate and now we're getting very close to those stimulus bills the economy is just going to just take off and skyrocket so there's a lot of optimism except for precious metals but silver prices forecast silver markets testing big figure silver market initially tried to rally during the trading session on monday but then broke down from the 26 level to reach down towards the 25 level yeah so it's at 25 dollar level right now at spot price for silver in fact they're saying that the market could continue to see going down and it's very interesting area to be in and it's going to be a little choppy because of the psychological factor with the massive amounts of stimulus out there and of course the idea of reflation trade i was just talking about which should send most metals going higher so depending on who you're listening to and i just saw a video on gold and silver retail owner saying the reflation is definitely going to be heading back upwards in the precious metal industry eventually in time we could see the silver market hitting fifty dollars per ounce and gold getting back up to the two thousand dollar level so last week we saw the markets did tank and this gentleman todd horwitz says we're headed for a real disaster he says quote what we're really to see is we're headed towards stagflation with inflation because we're not creating jobs we're not growing the new administration has already given away the keys to everything by letting opec back in and taking a share of our oil producers by going back in with china everything the government has done and you throw in the federal 
Federal Reserve or central banks around the world that continue to print dollars, hoping that they can print their way out of debt. But it does not create growth. It does not create jobs, Horowitz said. Here's another article. It's by Todd Bubba Horowitz. Gold and silver and platinum should continue lower. As much as we can continue to look for higher metal prices, they all should continue head south. There is no reason to believe that the current downtrend is changing anytime soon, although it is inevitable that it will change is what he's saying. The only question is when. Here's the question that I propose. Are you going to be positioned when these precious metals start heading north again? So back to why gold and silver and other precious metals are headed south. Gold prices can't catch a break as oil hits nearly three year high. All focus is on bonds and oil. And I'm only going to read a short paragraph here. Rising geopolitical tensions in the Middle East push oil prices to their highest level since October 2018. Still, it is the boom in the most traded commodity in the world. It is not impacting gold prices as the precious metal continues to face stiff headwinds from rising bond yields, although it's, it is going lower. According to media reports, oil prices are holding near a three-year high after the Houthi rebels in Yemen attacked Saudi Arabia's oil facility over the weekend. Although oil prices have fallen from Sunday night's high, they are still holding above critical support levels. April oil futures last traded at $65 a barrel, down 1%. Yemen rebels attacked Saudi Arabia's oil facilities, and we're still looking at high oil. We'll keep an eye on that moving further into this week. Switching over to uh, Bitcoin and some cryptocurrency. Indian government open to exploring cryptocurrencies. Finance minister offers new clues about crypto regulation. Even though Ripple was in a SEC lawsuit, it is flourishing despite their struggle, says CEO. And then we have Susie Orman says, I love Bitcoin, advises how to buy BTC and praises PayPal. Goldman Sachs sees institutional demand for Bitcoin. 76% of clients say BTC price could reach 100000 this year. Bold statement. Also, you see PayPal acquiring crypto security firm Curve to expand digital asset initiative. Swiss firm issues major warning the financial system is rigged, but it's going to fail. Swiss firm. We're talking about, some of you know about Basel III. These central banks, and Basel is the central bank that commands all the banks around the world. If they know something's up, you should follow what they do. Because buckle up, a global economic boom is about to be unleashed. Gerald Clente just warned King World News that investors need to buckle up because the global economic boom is about to be unleashed. And I'm going to leave it for that on this rapid update on gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. We'll see you in the next update.